Hi everyone, welcome to this interview where we have Dr. Najib Ahmed with us. Dr. Najib has got All India rank of 19 in Need Super Speciality 2022 Pediatric Part and we welcome Dr. Najib here. So Dr. Najib, welcome and congratulations on your success. Thank you sir, thank you so much. Please tell us about your background, where you did your UG and PG. Yes sir, sir I did my MBBS from JN Medical College, AMU Aligarh and I completed my MD in 2020 from AIMS Rishikesh sir. Okay, so was this your first yeah. attempt or second attempt? It was my second attempt, sir. So, how would you compare this paper to the previous paper that you had given? Sir, rating on the difficulty level, this was a bit more difficult than the previous paper. Although questions were evenly spaced out. And to be specific about the systems, I think neurology, to be very specific, gastroenterology, and some other miscellaneous, some factual percentages, those questions were a bit tricky and a bit tough. And so, yeah. uh, like, uh, were you able to complete the paper on time or it required a bit more, uh, you know, uh, faster reading because the questions had long stems also? Yeah, yeah. The questions were lengthy, sir. It was clinical stuff. A lot of clinical questions were there, but I was able to complete the question on paper on time, sir. I didn't have this time issue with me. Okay. And how many questions did you attempt? Yeah. Sir, I attempted around 130 questions. 130. And what was your eventual score? Yeah. Sir, my score was 424. Okay, 424. So yeah. almost uh, 70 percent plus you got it. So uh, yes, okay. so uh, excellent score. So uh, Dr. Najib, when did you seriously start preparing for the uh, SS exam? Sir, initially I was targeting INISS pediatric neurology. Mm -hmm. So for that, I had been reading since the mid 2021 seriously. I had cleared the theory exams twice in December 21 and in April 22 as well, sir. But uh, unfortunately, I was not able to clear the interviews. I was placed in the wait waiting list. And for NEET SS specifically, I started preparing from this May 2022, sir. After the AIMS exam was over. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that only, I started preparing seriously for this NEET SS exam, sir. So what all resources did you utilize which were handy for this NEET SS exam? So principally, the major, most important source was Nelson. And apart from that, some readings from Cloherty, the 8th edition, especially the South Asian edition which has come up recently, that with the uh, books and I was preparing for pediatric neurology sir, so I had some here and there stuffs from Penicial and Swyman as well and apart from that I was looking after your videos, the modules, the slides and I was using the question bank from Preparator. These were the principal resources I used. So uh, you benefited from the Preparator resources that, that were there? Definitely, definitely, sir. I used to read Nelson, whatever the relevant topics were, then simultaneously I used to look up uh, to the videos, add any additional points which I found in my textbook only. I didn't make any special notes for it, but I used to write down write down the important points which were missing from Nelson and were additional in your uh, modules, then and there only. And I used to revise also from your lectures. I just used to put up the slideshow and then revise from that only. Great, great. Excellent. So, Dr. Najib, uh, like uh, if you have to sit for the exam again, what all uh, advice you would give to yourself that this thing could be, could have been done better during your preparation days? Yes, so definitely some things, some chapters were lacking in my initial preparation. I was not stressing too much on the general pediatrics part, the growth and development part, the milestones part, the vaccination, immunization, malnutrition. I think I was a bit lacking on those aspects. Otherwise, the systemic part was okay and I was focusing too much on pediatric neurology. For that, I would say that I had, uh, for me, the paper, although it was tough, I could easily solve those questions because I had read neurology a lot in the last six to eight months. But uh, I would uh, stress more on the general pediatrics part because systemic pediatrics, I think I had read decently. So uh, you have already cleared the INISS part all, almost two times now. So uh, you have already, uh, you have got a top rank in need SS. So how would you compare the yes, two papers? Like there are a lot of students who are interested in both. So who will, who will be yes, waiting for these exams next year? So how would you rate the two yes, papers? What are the differences that you find? So differences, I think the previous need assess papers, if you talk about like 2019, 2018, even 2020, mm -hmm. they were more of single liner questions, fact-based questions. But now I think that gap is being bridged mm -hmm. a lot between INISS and the need assess, especially this paper, which I gave last month this paper was pretty much close to the standard which we have in INISS although the questions are a bit more 
tougher tougher uh, in the sense i would say it's might it's bit more mind boggling bit more clinical the options are very much close even if you rule out two options there will be options which will, which will you know confuse you at a lot so that is the point um, to emphasize having said that i don't think there is much of a difference between iniss and neat ss as of now and for iniss one thing especially which is important is that you need to read some super specialty books as well nelson alone is not sufficient that is the biggest difference from neat ss and iniss sir correct correct very succinctly put by dr najib ahmed and uh, so dr najib uh, you'll be uh, trying to take up uh, pediatric neurology will be for sir neurology i was trying from aims new delhi at actually but now from neat ss i think for my first option is neurology i'll be targeting neurology now sir okay very nice so yeah. uh, in the end like a lot of uh, your compatriots would not have prepared they have not done well in this uh, neat ss exam and they'll be sitting again a lot of students will be sitting yes, for sir. the first time so there will be like yes, sir. Uh, about a few months before they sit for the exam what advice would you give to your juniors sir especially for those who are pursuing their md i would say that first thing is to gain your skills and improve yourself as a clinician and as a pediatrician because that is the first and the foremost thing don't just blindly run behind dm if you are hard working if you have if you are in the correct path and you have the good resources you will definitely get a dm there is no doubt in that you should back up your ab- abilities and first thing for especially for those who are doing their md first be a good pediatrician that is the first and the foremost thing because these three years once gone they will never come back again and dm definitely if you are working hard you will get it definitely that is the best advice that anybody could give in any interview which dr najib has just given because end of the day life is not about just giving exam cracking exam and moving ahead it's also about your profession and pediatrics if you yes. are good in your clinics if you are you know dedicated you learn the skills whatever branch you take yes, up sir. exams will come and go and you will eventually crack yes, exam, but the, the skills are going to be there so i think uh, very clear cut thoughts on from dr najib ahmed for all of you students so dr najib in the end would you like to dedicate this success to someone your family your friends uh, any shout outs yes, definitely definitely sir i would like to thank my parents first sir and then i would like to thank my wife a lot for her patience and her perseverance and lots of love to her because she has been very patient for these last 6 to 8 months when i have been just reading and reading and so they are the only person behind my success i would say great great, great. and the guidance and the motivation given by my, by my teachers and my seniors great they all they to deserve yes sir it was lovely talking with you such clear thoughts such clear words you have used to express whatever is needed for the students and i think everyone who's listening to this interview will benefit from the wisdom of dr najib so thank you dr najib for your time and we wish you all the best for your future and uh, may god always bless you may you uh, be the topmost neurologist or neurologist whatever you decide to become thank you so much